going loud big move hi y'all welcome back to another vlog i got back from vegas last night i have been working all day just getting my life back in order this clutter is driving me crazy if you guys have good bathroom accessories for me let me know i need some bath mats and then i also need somewhere to put the products there's not really like storage you know and even like there i don't like seeing it I don't know. I'm gonna do this little plumping cream, not sponsored, but I've been loving Primally Pure. I'm actually not using this, but I do love Primally Pure. I got confused. We're having a self-care evening, a very chill, relaxing night at home. So I'm putting on a face mask. This is a clear stem face mask. As you can probably tell, I am so tired. This weekend really took it out of me, and then I got home late last night. Woke up this morning, it went straight to work. Wow, this feels really nice on my skin. I'm gonna say like an everything bath and shower. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. I leave again on Friday for Austin. So, it is time for my relaxing bath. I'm gonna use bath salts. I'm gonna exfoliate. I'm gonna do all my body care, all my skin care, everything. And I'm gonna come out feeling so amazing. <laughs> I'm out and I feel amazing. I have no idea how I already got something on my pajamas. I'm wearing the new Sun Active Sleep. They are so soft. I also just got this new robe from Mason and Gray. There's nothing I love more than a matching pajama set, a robe, and slippers. Like, oh, I have my whole life. Oh my god, it just feels like so good. I just did my skincare. I did a bunch of like Primally Pure oil. This vlog is not sponsored by the way, but I've been loving Primally Pure. Their oils are so good. Their serums are amazing. And I just feel like I know it's good for my skin. And I just like, like it more. For my body, I also use the Lush Argan Oil. No, not that. What was it? Rose Argan? I didn't even put the lid back on. The Lush Rose Argan Body Conditioner. That stuff is amazing. It leaves your body feeling so like moisturized. I also use the new body exfoliator exfoliating gloves to get my tan off from the weekend um because i'm getting a new tan tomorrow and then the nude body peptide body cream this is one of my favorite body creams and it's actually like a ton of product i've been using this a lot and i still have so much left i feel like a lot of body products i probably just like overdo it but i go through them really quickly before i put that on i did the primarily pure body oil blue tansy another thing about these for these body oils like i've been using this body oil for a while now and i'm not even halfway through a little goes a long way and they last a long time i do have a code for these because they are podcast ones and i worked with them in the past um so i will put that where i link everything i just love their stuff it's so good you can like spray this on your skin once you cleanse it but also apparently over makeup i want to try this over like summer makeup and see how i like it i feel so at peace like this is Oh my god, what a good, beautiful, beautiful evening I've had so far. I'm really looking forward to getting in bed early and reading. No one is surprised, I know. My very handsome man. There's also no excuse as to why I still have a box in my bedroom. Like, that's actually ridiculous. He looks so handsome. Here's the fit, my pajamas outfit of the night. Set active, Mason and Gray. Skim slippers, I've been loving. Okay, like this robe is everything. I don't have a robe that's this long, and I really love that. And then Set Active Sleep is unbelievably soft. I love it. Fitz, do you have an outfit of the night? No, he's not interested. A little update, I finally moved this mirror back to this area of my house. It looks much better here, but I am like really living my best life. I weirdly had a meeting. I've been having meetings later 
the normal. I got a lot of work done. I thought I was gonna go to bed earlier tonight, but it's like 9 p.m. actually, and it's happening soon. I am so cozy. I'm planning out some future podcast episodes. I am planning on going to LA in August. Stay tuned because Hopefully, we are doing something very fun in August in Los Angeles. But regardless, I think I'm going to need to go for like a week or so for work. So let me know who you guys want on the podcast. I definitely want to get some good like interviews and stuff recorded. I want to be recording like most of my stuff here. Regardless, I'll do intros, outros, all that stuff. But um, I definitely want to get some interviews going. I feel like I'm just so like... I think it's because it's the summer and I feel like I'm always, I, I don't want to sound like I'm complaining. I'm more so just I'm like almost kind of lost. Like I feel like a few months, like a month ago, I was like, oh my God, I'm like the most sure career wise and I have so many of these ideas and blah, blah, blah. And then I don't know if it's just like being in my twenties or the summer and I'm always like in a weird place emotionally and mentally in the summer or what, but I'm like, I don't know, like I want to rebrand the podcast, but now I'm like getting cold feet. Like I'm like, I don't know if I want to do that. Now I'm thinking am I being done by doing more solos, even though that's what you guys wanted. Like, should I be doing more solos? Should I still have stuck with the structure that was working, which was like all like a bunch of interviews. Like I just, I don't know. And like, I'm just like getting so in my head about stuff. And it's just, I mean, I, I don't know. Like, I don't know. At the end of the day, like, I know things are gonna work out and be fine. I like, believe in myself and everything's good. And like, things are working out, I'm very grateful. But it's just like, I, I'm spiraling. You know what I mean? And I'm like, I know this isn't like the truth, but in my head, I'm like, oh my God, no one likes the podcast. No one cares. No one like gets anything out of it. No one feels like connected to me. No one feel like, I, I will go down that spiral and it really does feel true. Even though I know that it probably isn't true, it just feels true. I don't know how to describe it, but I'm just like waiting to like one day just wake up and just be in a way better mood or like not mood, but like mental space, which does happen to me a lot. So I'm hoping that is happening in the future. It's just hard especially with like a lot of other business stuff I'm doing in the next couple of months, like betting on yourself constantly. And I feel like normally I went into it or previously I got into things maybe a little more naive or just like I'm gonna be fine or maybe it's not that I'm getting older and I have like bigger bills to pay or I, I really don't know what it is. But now I'm like, oh my God, like there's obviously always a fear in the back of your head that things aren't gonna work out or whatever. But now I'm like, it's just scary. Like it's not even, I think it's just normal to feel, to feel scared when you're making any change or starting something new or betting on yourself or whatever it is. And like, I'm obviously like self-employed and like, I'm like the boss and I do it all myself. So that is like really scary because I don't really have someone to like tell me that like I'm doing a good job or this is right. Or, like I don't even really have someone to like bounce ideas off of in a way that like it would also affect them. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Like they know enough. I don't know, I'm just like kind of spiraling, but it's gonna be fine. It's all gonna be okay. I'm gonna go read because that always makes me feel better and I know I'm probably just being dramatic. I'm gonna have a little good pop, fudge and vanilla squares. I've been loving a little treats. Oh! He's ruining my zenness. The coolest part about my house right now, I need to move this app. Guys, I'm almost out of storage and I have two terabytes, but I have so many apps. Like my phone is so unorganized app-wise and I don't use any of them, so that's what I need to do. Anyways, the coolest part is, wait for it. Now all of my blinds are shutting. Love that. All at once. It's just really cozy. Like I love this vibe we have going. I've got my setup good and ready to go. I have my weighted blanket. By the way, I finally ordered this weighted blanket in a size king. It's the Luna cooling weighted blanket. I'm not paid to say this. I don't even think I make commission off these blankets. I can't really remember. Maybe I do, but I'm not sure. Regardless, it is the best thing ever. It's amazing for anxiety. 
it releases like endorphins or serotonin or something. I don't know. It makes you like literally happier. It is the best blanket ever. I know I've been talking about it a lot recently, but just a little friendly reminder. It is so good. It is now Wednesday. I read The Senator's Wife last night by Luke Constantine. I'm like halfway through. It's just like not that good. I have laundry going, sorry. Here's my little workout fit. Amazon set, brand new bubble tank. The lighting here is like phenomenal. We have some updates, new plants. This was such a mess, like I'm gonna have to figure out how to clean this out. These flowers also, they're like dying in the middle. I don't know, I've gotta figure that out. Zinnias have worked very well in my backyard. The other ones died, so I just replanted them in here. And then I was replanting that one, but then the pot didn't, like the bottom just fully disintegrated, I guess, so I have to get a new pot. I've got all this to clean up, like this is such a pain. And I have a salmon I'm about to make for lunch. I got a citronella candle for mosquitoes. Here's my herb garden. I've showered and it's time to get to work. I made a little salad with some, like a leafy green mix in the farmer's market and then that salmon's from the farmer's market. And then I just used, I think it's like the seed change, like what is it, seed change, like rice packets? I'm not sure. I also got my nails done. I was in and out so quick. I went back to Chrome. I'm into them. I have a shoot tomorrow for the rebrand of the podcast or at least the new cover art. Um, so I'm getting, so that's why I scrubbed off all my spray tan. I'm getting a spray tan at 5 p.m. And then my sister, I think, and her boyfriend are coming over to grill later. But I'm wearing my set active like black pajamas because I'm gonna wear them after I get sprayed. They are, so soft, feel amazing, love this. So, just eating really healthy, I have my skincare on, drinking lots of water, feeling good, little productive afternoon ahead. It just started storming. And I am putting on the summer I turned pretty because I'm going to something very exciting this weekend in Austin. So I'm rewatching it. Also, I grew up reading these books. I remember exactly where I was when I read them, and I've always loved them just so much. I'm getting some work done, getting some scheduling done, some future podcast episodes, and I'm gonna start editing this vlog. That storm this afternoon was so crazy. Like, it was so intense. I had no idea it was even gonna rain, which you guys know I love a summer storm. It was so cozy, it was like the ideal time. Everything about it was perfect. Anyways, it stopped storming and I am getting a spray tan at Sugar and Bronze. I'm getting another one this week because tomorrow we are shooting the new podcast cover. So I need to be tan and I have another like quick trip on Friday. Oh, and then I have a blowout tomorrow. It's like, literally I do the same thing every single week. I don't know why you guys like these vlogs. It's literally the exact same thing every week, which I personally love, but yeah. Oh, and I'd stop at Sprouts to get some lunch or some dinner. I was gonna have 
Um, my sister and her boyfriend were supposed to come over, but now it's just one of my like childhood friends is coming over, so I'm gonna make us dinner. We're just gonna chill. It's gonna be a great night, an early, an early evening. Happy Thursday. I'm going to not my normal class. I'm going to a finish class um, at North Park for like a brand event. I love finish. Their stuff's so good. Year of ours, old world Amazon. Sweater is Abercrombie. Shoes are Ugg. Stanley, normal bag. And we're off. I wish I had like gold jewelry on so I could be like a really cute Pilates girl. But I'm like about to be late so I have to go. I ordered these like salad bowls off Amazon and I love them. They're massive, which is what I need for a salad bowl. I'm gonna have them linked and then I'll put them on my storefront. I mean, I can just already tell they're gonna be the best salad bowls ever. Like I need these for like lunch or dinner when I'm making like a full bowl. You know how like just, I don't wanna, you know, mix it in a different place. Like I need it all in one. And this looks amazing, I need to wash them, but perfect. I also got these magnesium bath flakes. I'm very easily influenced on TikTok and people said that they're amazing. So I'm excited. I got a blowout after my workout and then I've just been working and editing on the couch. It's now 5.30 and I need to get ready because I have a shoot tonight. Also, I thought that like this order from how it canceled or lost or something and I found it today, it was at like a CVS. Um, I'm shooting the new podcast cover. This isn't the one I'm using for the cover, but I just thought I would have like two fits. They're both House of CB. House of CB, if you're watching this, please add me to your mailing list. Like I'm begging, I spend so much money at House of CB and I just, I want more, I need it all. Um, I haven't even tried this one on yet, but I just think it's gonna be cute and like fun and whatever, so. Love this. Just got dressed for a new podcast cover. Ha house dresses, house of CB. Boots are obviously Jacobas, and then I have another dress for other photos. You guys will see them soon. I'm very excited. Um, I hope this doesn't look too like, you know. But like, it's cute. It's still like a fun dress, but it's also kind of like housewifeish. But like, you know, I don't know. It's house of CB. Okay, it is time to take my makeup off and also get ready for bed. 9 p.m. pretty late for me and I have a 6 a.m. workout which I'm about to make my new personality training for the next 48 hours so um I haven't talked about this in the vlog recently I brought it with me to Vegas I forgot how amazing this 20 world up in a way cleansing bomb is it's only $20 it lasts forever I buy them by like I since they're so cheap I buy like four at a time so I don't pay like shipping twice but it is the best cleansing balm you will ever use. Like even over the way more expensive ones. So here's all my makeup, okay? And then, like, it just comes off so good, so good. My eyes and face are like always bloodshot, like literally always. But it leaves your face feeling like moisturized but not greasy and it's not like too much after the fact. Like it doesn't dry out your skin but it doesn't leave that weird residue. You know what I'm talking about on like a lot of the cleansing balms? They're the worst. Really, the only two things I've been using on my face besides sunscreen is the Primally Pure Clarifying Serum. And then I also use the plumping one. I just love all their stuff. It feels amazing. Like the oils. I'm just an oils girl at the end of the day. So I love every oil or serum they have. And then, of course, I have my lip balm. I'm trying to go to bed in the next hour, but I kind of feel wide awake. Good morning. I'm awake. I just don't want to wake up the dogs. Sometimes, when I'm like prepared to wake up early, I run out of bed. Like, I don't know what's wrong with that. I me. Mean, I'm gonna make a coffee. I do feel pretty good, though, I'm not gonna lie, which seems criminal. It does. 
this is a good, a good example of what everyone is like, what is wrong with you, you know? Oh, by the way, yesterday I finished um, The Senator's Wife by Liv, Con Liv Constantine, which is like, actually an author duo. Not worth the read. Like, I love The Last of the Parish. I like the last time we saw or the whatever, or the red one with the pearls. Um, the last book they released I didn't like, and this one, like, it was better than the last one. The last one I like really didn't like. This one was just like, it was nothing special. I was expecting a bigger twist. I did, it was good. It just like, I don't know. I read it really quickly because I was just like getting through it in a reading mood, but it wasn't a book that like kept me super interested and like, I don't know, there's just like better books out there. But if you guys read it, let me know because maybe I just was like in a weird mood. So, I look really cold right now. It's probably like 80 degrees right now. My set is story. When I dress and like wear sweaters and wear, you know, ridiculous clothing when it's 100 degrees, just know that I'm dressing for the weather that I want, not the weather that I have, okay? It's like dressing for the job that you want. And honestly, it just tricks my brain a little bit. Puts me in a good mood. I still am really frosting today. I haven't been packed. I, this morning, actually, like we'll get back to pack. Well, I've been ice rolling. I'm kind of having a great morning. Like I've only been up for 15 minutes, sure. But I kind of miss this. Like maybe I'll start bringing back my 6 a.m. workout. It's really nice to get it out of the way. And you do feel better than everyone else. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But like, kind of. It's just such a good feeling to be up for me after waking up at 6 a.m. or for a 6 a.m. workout once. It really is such a good feeling to be up before everyone else and it's just like slow, whatever. I used to do this like every morning. In LA, I would have like training at 6 and do Pilates at 7. They were in the same room, so I just like stuck with it. Like the big problem with me is that once I really like a workout, like I don't want to miss it, but like there's too many workouts that I like and it's like too many workouts right now, you know what I mean? And that was a good example then. Like I wasn't willing to give up my hot Pilates class, but I also wanted to train, so. Anyways, I'm in such a good mood. I have to check my coffee out, I mean, I have like a little bit of it. The room's 100 degrees, can't drink this in there. Okay guys, I'm out. I got my smoothie. It felt amazing. I think I'm gonna, my hair, look at this right now. This is how I keep my blowouts. Um, this is my post hot Pilates care. If I like remember to do it, a lot of the time I just go home. Ugh, these are dried. Are you joking? I literally just bought this pack. I don't know how I did that. <laughs> Wait, that is so annoying. These are normally really great for post workouts. They're basically like if you have like a eucalyptus towel, but like in your car. This stuff is good. If your face is really red, like after a heated workout, my face is bright red. So don't tone down spray. Just tones you down. What is in this? CBD, it's a CBD infused facial mist, cooling, hydrating, energizing. It's really good post-workout. I love this stuff post-workout. Anyways, gotta go home and shower and pack, get my coolant topped off before I leave, post this vlog. We've got a lot of things to do before like 9 a.m. It's 8.12, I just finished packing for 24 hours in Austin. My cow pack bag, and then I'm bringing this extra just because it's so cute. No idea why there's a Starbucks straw there. I haven't worn this bag since probably like Nantucket, and it's the best bag. I forget like where it's from. Who? It was sent to me. There's no label, and I cannot remember for the life of me. Like there's still a mask in this bag, that's how you know. Oh wow, okay. Anyways, that is it for this vlog. I'm heading off to Austin. There's gonna be an entire Austin vlog, so stay tuned. I love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Like when the summer hits, I am just so, for lack of a better word, miserable. And I was working on gaslighting myself into loving summer. And it, honestly, it was working really well until it hit about 95 degrees, and now like all of my gaslighting work on myself is, it's no longer working.